I'm gonna plug this in and pray to God that it works. And I don't break this thing. Okay, turn off, turn off. Let's YouTube, if something sounds weird today, it's because I'm using the Blue Yeti configured to my Canon Rebel T5i for this review. If the audio sounds horrible, I'll re-record over it. We have something on here that will help Joe and I immensely. Uh, I can't use my CD tray in my computer, my gaming video editing computer, because I have all the SATA data ports and power ports plugged into my three or four hard drives I have in there, and I can't use one on the Mac Mini 2011 because they no longer have CD drives on the Mac Minis. And so I need a uh, an external USB uh, CD drive. This one has the specs on it. It's a Memorex, and there I've usually used Memorex for um for their their CDs and DVD CDRWs and um, CDR minus. Um, I've, I've never used them like any other product really Memorex besides CDs and DVDs to burn stuff with and apparently this is a, a DVD writer and I asked the guy can it read DVDs as well as they're only for burning and he said yes so that didn't really answer me but I'm just going to assume that he meant yes it'll it'll read DVDs as well and read CD games as well I hope it does because I'd really like to be able to use it this was supposed to be a a uh, a brand new one, but the box looked really tore up. Yeah, it looks it looks pretty tore up. It looks like it's been used. I, I really don't care. It was only twelve dollars, and and almost all of them are uh, twelve dollars and stuff like that. It's powered by um, by USB, as I said, two point zero. I, it should be um, forward and backward compatible. Uh, but if you use it with a, a one point zero speed USB, you'll get it'll just screw up everything. It won't be able to read it because I read some reviews about that as well. Uh, on older systems and stuff, if you're using like a 20 year old system. Um, so it can write up to eight times the speed. I can save your memories, it says. I don't know how. I have a failing memory as it is, and I highly doubt that it can save anything. DVD DL six times, CDR 24 times, USB powered. So it does work with CDR discs, it does work with DVD Ls, and I believe um, it, looks, it looks awesome. Honestly, it looks awesome. Um, system requirements. Let me bring it closer. If I can even get my light to... Uh, pause the video right here if you want to read this. Or if I can get even closer. I don't know if my... Yeah. Pause the video right here if you want to read this. And now we're going back. But it says... Um, it says... Windows XP Surface Pack 332 bit, Windows Vista SP2 or later 32 and 64 bit. So XP is only 32 bit. Vista you can go 32 or 64. Windows 7 SP Home Premium Professional or Ultimate 32 and 64 bit. Windows 8 awesome. I'm using Windows 8 right now. I'm using Windows 8 right now. That's awesome that it works with that. So it is rather it was it's rather a newer um, DVD um, writer and player. You need a 2 gigahertz AMD or Intel processor, which is awesome. Not, I don't know of any ones that are below 2 gigahertz anymore. 1 gigabyte of RAM, which might be a lot for people with older systems. 5 gigabytes of hard drive space for a typical installation of all the components, including templates, content, temporary disk space, memory. Microsoft DirectX 9.0 compliant graphics card, awesome. That's most computers today. DVD disk drive for installation and playback. CD or DVD recordable, rewritable drive for burning CD or DVD. Free trial software. Anyway, whatever. I'm not going to, I'm just going to have to do all this mostly while testing it out. Because that seems like, anyway, whatever. That, that's, okay. Specification. You can do DVD R plus and minus. You can do DVD R9 plus and minus double layered discs which are like Super Smash Bros Brawl for the Wii DVD RAM DVD ROM CDR CDRW CDROM ROM 8 times 6 times 6 times 8 times 6 times oh my god there's so many like speeds 24 times if you're on a CDRW and and um CD ROM it records DVD R oh so it does play DVDs he wasn't lying 
It records DVD R, DVD R9, DL, DVD RW, DVD minus RAM, DVD minus R, DVD. Yeah, so it does all of them. Minus and plus all of them uh, that are within the last 10 years. And it plays DVD ROMs, DVD video, DVD R, DVD RW. Yeah, and skipping out of the ones that they don't have listed on the others. It does play audio CDs, it does play CDRs, CDRW, CDROM, XA. Text CDs, photo CDs, video CDs, and enhanced CD. You don't know what an enhanced CD is, but, you know, it's all, it's always nice. But, yeah, this one does look like it's been open. It looks like he just taped over it, which is all right by me. Usually I'd be PO'd, but I bought this with eBay bucks that I earned, so it's really, you know, it doesn't really bug me. I got 21 eBay bucks, and I bought this and something else with it. And I just had to cut it open. I'm unboxing it right now. Well, it might be new. He might have just had it on the shelf for a long time. I don't know. I really have no idea. So there are the instructions. I can save your memories. Uh, it's nice that they went with that. I mean, they could have gone with something mean, and they didn't. This does look kind of new, honestly. It's just probably no one needs these, really, except for laptops and stuff that no longer come with CD drives, believe it or not. Nero 12 Essentials, trial version. And with a lot of multimedia side, Nero has everything you need to edit, backup, rip, convert, and play your movies, music, and photos. Well, that's probably why. I don't need this. I got Magic DVD Ripper. I've got Windows Media Player and Media Player Classic. I just need this to read stuff and to rip DVDs. Um, that way I don't have to unplug one of my hard drives. Cool USB cable, standard USB 2.0. I can reuse this box, honestly, when I go ship stuff on eBay. Oh my god, this thing is smaller than I thought. But I can't say anything because computer computer DVD players really aren't that big either. But it is more slim than a computer DVD player. So, yes. And people did say that they used this with their TVs. And some of them said it didn't work. Because um, you you got to think that your TV may be a smart TV and have USB plugs. But it's not always going to be compatible. This is basically... Wow. That is cool. It smells awesome. But yeah, that is really cool. It's really light. You can hold it with one hand. Even a baby could hold it. A three-year-old baby could hold this and not say, Mommy, it's heavy. So there's your back. You plug your USB in the back right there. USB 2.0. DVD multi-recorder and multi-reader. RW, DVD, RLDL. And disc rewritable as well. So yeah, this is going to be awesome. I'm excited. I finally have a DVD player again that I can actually rip and record and listen to old CDs and stuff on those piracy protected CDs that won't let you rip shit. I am plugging it in to the computer. It has, in my anger, two... It takes up two USB ports. And I'm guessing one is for power, one is for data. And I gotta say, I am out of USB ports on my Mac Mini and on my gaming video editing computer. And, uh, it's recognizing it. Uh-oh. I'm gonna... If it doesn't work, I'm gonna have a tyrantrum. Just saying. And I, I don't know if it, uh... Does it actually work? I don't know. I'm gonna hit the eject button. I'm gonna hit it down below. You saw it, like, install something. It might have been the drivers. I have no idea. It might have been the Avon driver. Oh, God, I hope not. So there it is. Oh, God. So, it has one of those, like, laptop-like um, CD drives. It's like a laptop. A, a spring action one. So, what's going to happen is I got my trusty CD case. I know. Who has CDs anymore? <laughs> uh, my life is miserable. But, uh, here I go. I'm going to... I'm going to probably put in my trusty, trusty DVD CD. I'm going to plug this in and Pray to God that it works. And I don't break this thing. Oh crap, turn off, turn off. Oh. I apologize for that, YouTube. Um, but I got it fixed. Like, I put the right I put the right CD and I'm so embarrassed about that. And look, it's working. Uh I I <laughs> I really apologize for that. I can't believe I put the can't believe I put the wrong disc in. I almost broke this thing trying to get it out. Uh, but, uh, yeah, it works. It's reading my discs. Um, 
So it is a disc reader. You can watch movies and DVDs on it. I can't obviously play anything because it's copyright. So as you can see, the top right. I couldn't find Joe and I's project, sadly. Uh, so here we go. I'm going to hit play audio CD and hope I don't get copyright. I'm sorry. This is owned by Blue Collar uh, Comedy Tour. Rides again. I'm going to play it just to see if it, if it plays it. Yes, it does. No skipping at all. Mind you. Tonight, we're going to talk a little bit about relationships. And there, <laughs> there you go. And mind you, I don't listen to that anymore, but I used to about seven or eight years ago. But yeah, it did not skip at all. Uh, the CD is at 240 uh, bit rate. So if you're looking for uh, 320 bit rate, can I play 320 bit rate CDs? I have no idea because this is seven or eight years ago. So 240 was the standard back then. 320 is now the high standard for uh, CDs and stuff. So this does work. I would recommend it. Uh, I can't test DVDs out because, like I said, I couldn't find Joe Bonai's Project DVDs. Um, Otherwise, it works with CDs, it works with video games, it works with music. Uh, does it work with DVDs? It's supposed to. Does it write DVDs? It's supposed to. I'll do an update video later on when I do that kind of stuff. 